uh, certain resources that can be very helpful. So we, we talked about how to use audiobooks. Um, we've also talked in the past about how to use music and other sources to improve your listening comprehension. But episode 128 was a great episode where I shared a specific technique that you can actually use audiobooks not only to improve your listening comprehension, but to also exponentially increase your Spanish vocabulary. So if you haven't listened to that one yet, if you missed that one back on June 15th, make sure you go back and check out episode 128 uh, and learn my method for using audiobooks specifically to improve your Spanish vocabulary. Number nine is episode 118, which is learn three ways to say to have in Spanish using timba. So this is a type of music from Cuba. And I actually did a breakdown of the lyrics from the song Me Dicen Cuba in that episode. And this was actually released back in April. And um, I have to say that uh, these are always my favorite episodes to do. Um, I love music and kind of breaking down a song and not just kind of explaining what the lyrics mean, but also pulling out those things that you can use in your day-to-day conversations has really been one of the things I really love uh, to do on this podcast and really is what helped me learn Spanish as well. So that was our, our ninth most popular episode. And I will have to say a lot of these episodes that are on our top 10 list actually are episodes with songs. So I think that in 2022, you'll be hearing more episodes with different music and using that Um, more to kind of pry out the Spanish that you can use in your conversation. So it seems like those were the most popular ones, at least on Spotify. Number eight is learn how to use the preposition de with music. And in that episode, episode 114, I broke down the lyrics of the song Medicina de Amor. And you know, de is in the title. So Medicina de Amor, medicine of love or love's medicine. Uh, So we talk about some different ways to use that preposition de, because I think a lot of people just think it means from, right? It's, oh, it's from, Uh, and it does, but it also can be used in different ways. So I broke that down in episode 114. So if you haven't listened to that one yet, make sure you go back and listen to it and you'll get some tips on uh, how to use that preposition that you may not have known. Number seven on the list is how to stop forgetting the Spanish you've learned. And that was episode 139. And actually, you know, this was a topic that came to us because it was more of a Q&A, right? Like a lot of people ask this question. It's like, look, I've been learning Spanish for a while. I know I've learned a lot, but I keep forgetting everything. You know, I get into a conversation and I get absolutely stuck. I don't know what to say next. So in episode 139, I break down some strategies for how you can uh, stop sort of that I guess a leaky faucet, right, <laughs> of your memory where everything you, that goes in is just kind of going out the other side. So if that was one you missed, make sure you go back and listen to that. And we just released that back in October. So make sure you, you check that episode out as well. Our sixth most popular episode of the year is one that we actually did an encore presentation of back in October. We originally released uh, this episode was actually a conversation with author Lela Cobo, who wrote a book called Decoding Despacito. And that was a really great conversation. Uh, it's a way that you can practice your listening comprehension as well. The interview was bilingual, so we did some English. We also had some conversation in Spanish. But the thing I love about my conversation with Leila is that she was able to share some behind the scenes stories of some of my favorite artists. And, you know, quite frankly, some of the artists that you know, we talk about on this podcast all the time from Juan Luis Guerra to Mark Anthony. It, it's just amazing just the, the insight she had. Um, and for those of you who missed that episode, make sure you just kind of go back and check out the episode on celebrating Hispanic Heritage Month. Just do a search for that or you can do a search for Decoding Despacito, which you probably are very familiar with that song. It's one of the first songs I broke down here on the podcast, one of our first episodes. But Layla is amazing because uh, in her position as the vice president of Billboard Latin, uh, the Latin division of Billboard Records, she really has uh, this access and insight to get these artists to open up and share the stories behind their songs, which uh, to me is so powerful and so meaningful because you know, this music is a part of all of our lives, right? You listen to a song, it becomes very personal for you. 
but you don't always know what the artist had in mind or what was the story behind how it came about, especially those songs that became hit records, right? It's so, so interesting. So she provides so much insight, so many amazing stories. And also I give a, a playlist in that episode. So if you're on Spotify, that you can actually listen to all of the songs that she mentions in her book, Decoding Despacito. It's not just reggaeton. She has lots of different genres that she covers, even the song Macarena. Crazy story behind that. I definitely recommend if you don't have Layla's book to make sure you grab it. But anyway, that was our sixth most popular episode of the year uh, where we talked about Decoding Despacito. All right, now we're into the top five. Uh, All right, number five is the smart way to master the past tense. And that was episode 131. So it seems like you guys really like uh, the topics that are more grammar related, which, you know, to me, I find grammar only interesting when I can use music to explain it (laughs) or something more interesting. Because I think with grammar, you know, it's really important to learn it in context, right? Just kind of getting a a book and saying, all right, I'm going to learn all the verb tenses. I'm going to learn how to structure sentences. It's actually... You know, it's not horrible, but to me, it can be quite boring. And if you're bored, you will definitely forget what you're learning if you even retain it to begin with. So to me, it's just a much more interesting way to use real life materials to illustrate the just the way people actually use grammar and, and speak in real life. Because grammar is just the proper structure of a language. It doesn't give you the emotion, the meaning, the feeling. I mean, it does communicate some meaning, right? Like past, present or future tense, for example. But it's really just the, the form in which you say things, you know, so it's, it's just not the primary focus in my mind of language learning. Um, obviously, you need to learn grammar, right, because you want to be able to speak properly, but you have to have something to say, too. Right. So grammar, I think, is one of those things that people approach in a very you know studious way where they feel like I have to get all this right and I have to be perfect with my grammar before I ever speak. And in this episode, I think I mentioned, but I I say this a lot when I'm talking to Spanish learners that, listen, you know, all native Spanish speakers don't have perfect grammar. I mean, even us as as speakers of English, right? Like we don't speak perfectly all the time. If you were to give most of us a grammar test, we probably wouldn't do as well as we think. Right. But we're native speakers of English. Right. A lot of us that listen to this podcast. Right. So I think it's really interesting that perspective on grammar. But if that's what you guys are interested in, I can definitely provide you with more you know, in 2022 that gives you a breakdown of grammar in a little bit different way, but also more effective. And of course, using music. OK, so episode 131, we talked about the smart way to master the past tense. So if you struggle with the past tense, that's a good episode to check out to see sort of how we approach it at Spanish Con Salsa, because I think you might find some of those tips a little bit uh, surprising, uh, definitely different than what you may have been told to do before. All right, episode number four, or actually, I'm sorry, episode number 109, which was our fourth most popular episode of 2021, is The Secret to Unlock Your Spanish Listening Skills. And this was an interview I did. With- 